I'm Brandon Stiles with Uptown Down Entertainment, and today we're going to be talking about the 10 things you should ask when booking a wedding DJ. So at Uptown Down, whenever we talk with a client for the first time, we get one major question, and that's, will you keep my dance floor packed? That's the number one question we get. The number two question we get usually comes at the end of the phone call, and the bride and groom will say, did we ask everything we're supposed to ask? And that's a great question. This is probably your first time planning a wedding or planning a big event, and you don't know what to do. I mean, it's confusing. You could get lost. There's so many details. You want to make sure you're not missing anything. So, today I'm going to tell you the questions that we DJs and band leaders want you to ask us. So here are the top 10 questions you should ask your DJ on the phone. Question number one, how many hours will you be performing? Most DJs will be anywhere from four to five hours for a standard package, all right? Some do three, some do more than that, all right? Some include the cocktail hour and the reception and all that in one package and some don't. So it's important to ask how many hours their standard package includes, if it includes just the reception, or the cocktail hour and the ceremony and all that kind of stuff too. Question number two, do we get a hand in picking the songs? So two schools of thought on this. One is that you guys are the couple, it's your big day, you should be able to pick the songs. However, I'm gonna advise you, as DJs we have a lot of experience with playlists and putting together sets and seeing which songs work and which songs don't work. And there are some songs that people will be like, oh man, it's going to be slamming, it's going to be awesome. And it totally kills the vibe of the room. Your DJ should let you definitely have a hand in picking the set. I would not recommend saying, hey, here are the 50 songs that we need, play them, or you're fired. I would say, hey, here's some things we want to hear, here's what we definitely don't want to hear, that's usually a really good one, here's what we don't want to hear. Kind of let him pick what's best from there. So you're getting your personality in it but it's not up to you whether it's made or break, it's up to a professional. Question number three, what are some techniques you use to make sure the energy stays up in a room? Now, any DJ that's been doing this for a while is gonna have certain techniques. If he sees the dance floor starting to lull a little bit, um, there's tricks and techniques you develop over the years. Ask them if they have a few techniques to ensure that your dance floor is gonna stay packed out all night. Question four, Question four, do you bring the sound and lighting? So most DJs that you hire are gonna bring their sound system and they're gonna bring lighting equipment, all right? You can ask for a reference and pictures of what this is, but if they've got a good site and they've got good reviews, then they've probably got a fine system. Most of the time, they're also gonna bring their own, so you won't have to buy anything or rent anything else. The only thing they might not bring is a stage. It's a little hard to carry. But other than that, most DJs will probably bring their own sound and lighting. Question five. Are there any hidden fees or costs I should know about after we book? So at Uptown Down, we don't have any hidden fees or anything. What you see is what you get. But it's always a good idea to ask your DJ if there's any thing missing that's not in the contract. Some guys charge gas money, some charge rental fees, uh, some charge travel fees or lodging fees. Just ask up front if there's anything you should know about and most will be happy to tell you. Question six, do you have a contract and do you have insurance? This is a good question. Uh, it seems pretty obvious, but most people, um, especially if it's a reputable DJ company, should have a contract. It doesn't have to be a 30 page opus of legalese, it just needs to, you know, have some have some necessities covered, like what to do if it rains, or what to do if you have to move the starting time of the ceremony or something like that. You also wanna to check to make sure they have liability insurance. It's just good to cover all your assets, emphasis on the first syllable of that word, and have some liability insurance. Question seven, can you help me pick out the songs? Any good DJ is gonna be more than happy to pick out songs. In fact, he'll probably want to pick out most of the songs because over the years of experience, he knows what works and what doesn't work. So, yes, any DJ should be able to pick out songs and you're gonna want help doing it too. You've got enough stuff to worry about without picking three hours worth of music. Question eight, where's the best place we can read 
reviews on you. Most entertainment companies are gonna have a few places where they like their customers and clients to leave reviews, be it Google or be it Facebook or The Knot or Wedding Wire. Go there, check out what the reviews say. If you see something like 20 five-star reviews, you're probably gonna be in good hands and you should feel confident on that. Question nine, what's your most popular package? So, a lot of times you get to a pricing page and there'll be all these, here's this package and this package and we offer this package and this package. Just ask them what their most popular package is and then start from there, use that as your starting point. A lot of times budget comes into concern there, so say I can either spend a little bit more and what do I get by spending a little bit more? Or I might need to spend less and what can I get from spending less? Most popular package is gonna be usually right in the middle, right in the middle starting point and good for everybody. Question 10. We saved the most important question for last, but you might wanna ask them first. The question is, will you be able to MC? Now, in our opinion, this is the most important job for a DJ, all right? You wanna know if they'll be a good MC. Can they make announcements? Can they keep the room lively? Can they improv? Can they say stuff at a moment's notice? A good DJ acts almost like a second wedding coordinator, okay? First of all, they're gonna be talking directly with the wedding coordinator most of the night. And then second of all, they need to kind of herd your guests a little bit, you know? You don't want someone coming in and being like, all right guys, cake cutting in 60 seconds uh, over there. Or when you have your big entrance, you don't wanna be like, all right, welcome Mr. and Mrs. Smith, and here's some super depressing music. No, you want, them to, you want them to be alive and you want them to be energetic, all right? They don't have to be cheesy. I'm not saying that they have to be some sort of like super dad joke DJ. They just need to have good energy. So hopefully that helped you out a bit and helped you narrow down your DJ choices. I'm Brandon with Uptown Down Entertainment.